Hi, my name is Colin Skipperwing Bird, and welcome to a special subset of Skipperwing Draws a Thing, process videos for the Crimson Fly animated comic strip. Today's strip, issue three, strip number thirty-three. Ay, there is a lot to unpack with this particular strip. In the blog post that accompanies this particular strip on the main website. I noted that there's a reason why the strips are about 50-50 in terms of animation and static imagery. And this strip is an example of why. On the creative side of things, yeah, not everything needs to be animated. People are going to be talking, that's going to be boring, and I want you to focus on the reading. There's only so many ways you can make a person talk without actually having their mouths flap. Well, that's not true, but I'm not at that point yet. But more to the logistical side of things, <laughs> this strip is mostly animation, and that was an insane amount of work to do in one week. There are better, faster animators out there, but I'm not one of them yet. And so when a strip is almost entirely animated, and worse, animation between multiple characters, such as a fight sequence. Oh my god! So much work to be done. So yeah, that's a little bit into my work process. This strip actually took longer than I would have liked. It took two weeks rather than one week as per usual, but luckily that's what buffers are for, so there is a fix there. Ooh! Also, if you notice, there's a picture of me dancing around in my home. Um, that's a reference video. Um, more often than not, if you don't, um, you should be taking reference when you're animating a character uh, to get into their head, to get into their feel. And granted, there are certain times when you can't do that, such as like when the crimson fly is bouncing off of buildings. I need my wrists in the morning, and I can't ha offend, uh, spend time shooting reference that might get me killed. But for those times when either I can physically do it, or um, I can't picture you in my head, I shoot the reference. This trip was actually interesting for another, uh, some other reasons as well. There were a lot of creative changes that I made um, throughout the process of making this strip. Um, you can see that in the, in the first in the in the second panel where the fly and the thief are struggling with each other, and then also in the fifth panel where the fly is breathing heavy. In the first panel, I couldn't seem to choreograph a sequence that looked cool and had the right impacts but was also easy to animate. And so that took a few tries to get right at first. But, as you can see, you eventually figured it out, and sometimes you don't get it on the first try. But that's why you gotta keep pushing, and make, keep making mistakes, and trying harder and harder to fix them as you go. As for the fifth panel, where he's breathing over heavy, when I initially drew it, he was standing triumphant, like most superheroes do, and I wanted it to be heavily ironic that Right when he thought he was triumphant, then something else got on his face. But that didn't sit right with me. Um, not just in a sort of realistic sense, but I wanted to sort of deconstruct the triumphant hero. And when I get into a fight, well no, I don't always get into a fight, but when I used to um, spar in martial arts classes, you come out of those fights really, really tired. <laughs> Because you've been physically exerting yourself for three to five minutes straight and stressing yourself out by trying to keep from getting hit. So with all this bouncing around, the Crimson Fly doesn't have the sort of stamina that a superhero would have, but he also, he's a kid, he doesn't have the sort of mental fortitude of Batman to stand stoically and strong, and I wanted to push the idea that this was tiring him out, and just when he was completely burnt out, boom! Something else comes in. Deconstruction, it's fun like that. That's what these strips are about. Taking chances, making mistakes, and getting messy, as Miss Frizzle would say.
today's video. If you want to see this trick in its true format, please click the links in the annotations and cards. If you're new, please like and subscribe for more content. This is Colin Skipperwing Bird signing out. I'll catch you peeps later.